The exhibition at the Africatown Heritage House will be open to the public. Well, the History Museum of Mobile has been curating, constructing, and preparing to operate an exhibition at the newly constructed Africatown Heritage House. It details the stories of the 110 men, women, and children brought to Mobile aboard the Clotilda. Joining us on the red couch this morning, we have Dina Pollard, the public affairs manager for the county, and Tiffany Pogue, a Clotilda descendant and a current intern for Mobile County. We're glad you're both here. You've got a busy few days ahead, starting with uh, some invitation events today. Yes, we have um, a reception for the descendants mm -hmm. tonight. And of course, this we're giving the descendants the opportunity to come in and visit the museum before anyone else does because out of respect to them, we want to get their interpretation and let them feel the moment at that time. Yeah, and uh, I, I want to ask, uh, Tiffany, as a descendant, it, this is a story you've heard for probably for since you were born. Uh, this is a story everybody's heard, but now keeping that story alive to this point, to the discovery of the Clotilda, is got to be just a fascinating thing. Yeah, it's such a privilege to be a part of the story and to like know that this is my story and my history. It just uh, is a call to action for me to advocate for Africatown and its revitalization even more. It's a story that's being told now where, where the whole country is hearing about it. Of course, this was the last uh, ship to bring mm -hmm. slaves to America, and it was right here in Mobile County. So uh, open to the public, though, happening this weekend. Tell us about the events where the public is invited. Okay. We are so excited about Africatown Heritage House opening up. We're having a big community day on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Robert L. Hope Community Center. And we just want everyone to just come on out and enjoy, celebrate this wonderful time. We're going to have food trucks, face painting, a stage, even Viagra High School band is going to be there. How great <laughs> right. is that? The choirs in the community, they have united and they are bringing us the voices of Africatown. How wonderful is that? Yeah. We're going to have workshops and in reverence to the ancestors, we're having Igungu, that's how to pronounce it, traditional African. Um, performances so that's going to be wonderful and we just want everyone to come out and just partake of this grand day. All right. It is going to be a great event and uh, it's happening in Africa Town this weekend. Uh, tell you what, check uh, WKRG.com for the dates and times. We'll put them all on there. It's Tiffany Pogue and Dina Pollard. We thank you very much for being here. Thank you thank so much. You. Good luck with the event. We're coming back with more in a moment. Stay with us.